This video is for YouTubers, filmmakers and photographers. Stick around if you want to find out more. It's in my We're taking a look at the Lumi Muse 6 and this is by Manfrotto. And basically in the box you will find the LED light which has got, well this is there's three different versions. There's the one with three lights. This has got five lights, and I think the other one's got seven lights. Now we're doing the mediocre one, which is the one in the middle, obviously. And this has got, as well as all the accessories, so you've got USB, you've got a cold shoe that supports a one quarter thread, as well as it can fit onto any camera, and it can also fit onto any universal tripod. You also get three filters and a carrying case. And um, the three filters has got a nice little connector that will easily just put on one time, and you click it onto the light and it's done. And then you can actually use the LED light um, with three steps and one being you hold the button down for two seconds and it will start in the lowest setting and then the medium setting and then it's highest setting. The time that it lasts for is 65 minutes being at the top end with its being its, its full brightness and at the lower end 260 minutes but I've had it going a lot longer and it outdone itself so that's pretty good. It also supports, well, it doesn't support, it is rated at 56 Kelvin light. It's got a lux output of 440 and it's got a beam of 50 degrees, so you ain't going to get any more and you're not going to get any less. So that means at 50 degrees, if I move like here, that's the most perfect light that you're going to get from that LED light at itself. And also, it's obviously got a charging USB on the side and it's really good it's a really small actual cable but you can connect it to a laptop or a pc or a usb charger and it will charge it no problems it also when you're holding the button down for two seconds it's got led uh, green led light to indicate when you're actually tapping the button and you're trying to get the right actual brightness of the LED light as well. Obviously using the filters is really good because you've got a milk diffuser and you've got two other filters that are different color and temperature. So depending on your subject or whatever you're actually filming or taking a picture of, you can actually mess around and, and mess around with that, uh, not the aperture, you can mess around with the color balance or the white balance and you can get some really funky little colors in your pictures or in your video. We're going to do a quick comparison on these lights. So on this light, you can only use six alkaline batteries, six rechargeable batteries, or a battery like that, that will sit in the back and it makes it really heavy. And the viewing uh, beam of the light is not any better than what this is. It's kind of the same. But imagine putting this on your camera, how big this is and how bright it is. The only thing that I like about this is the, vo the actual not volume control, the light control that you have, and you can see like how much power you've got. On this light, You've got a battery that's built in, which is a lithium polymer battery inside there, and it all got a multifunctional button on the side, and you've got three like different switches for the actual light, and then you've got a dust cap, and you can charge it by USB. So that means when you're using it out and about, and say that you're, um, I don't know, you could be uh, a, this, you could be some news like paparazzi, and you basically need a battery really quick and charge because you can't buy the batteries because there's no shops around, and this is dead, and this takes ages to charge and the alkaline batteries will only last for probably about half hour whereas this lasts well over that on the highest setting so you can't really go wrong so that's my comparison of this and obviously you've got a little tripod on the back here which shows it's universal this is one quarter inch uh, thread and it screws in there no problem put it on any tripod and obviously having a cold shoe I can get the camera which is a 600D by Canon and 
it's easy, nice and tight, and it's done, and it's nice and light, lightweight. You can easily pack this in your bag, no problem. And then you've got the filter as well that goes over the top, and it just clips on there, no problem. I like this light really, really much. It's like, really, really much. I like this light quite a lot, that's what I mean to say. And on the back, obviously, it's metal sort of grill, so it's quite solid, and it's just a really great, great like, make. And it's Manfrotto, obviously, and they've been doing this stuff for years. But what I'm trying to say to you is that how compressed this is compared to having that and having this and maybe six batteries of alkaline and, um, and rechargeables. This is more of a better option because it's lightweight and you've got filters that you can carry around with it. So that is my review on the Manfrotto Lumin Muse Light. Well, it's a Lumin Muse 6. And don't forget, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe. And if you dislike it, leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought about it. And if you've got this LED light, I'd like to know. Show me some pictures, send them to Facebook or Instagram, and I'll interact with you there and we can see what the difference is with the light. See if you actually agree with what I'm saying. Thanks for watching.